Hi, my name is Tom Covey. I'm the Sales Support Engineer here at Sony Professional Solutions of America. In this video, I will be showing you how to stream the output of the Anycast Touch. Program or auxiliary video can be encoded on the unit and streamed live using an external server or saved to the unit's internal storage. The Anycast Touch uses an H.264 flash format video stream but does not act as the streaming server. An external flash streaming server or streaming service such as Ustream.tv is required to distribute the stream signal to the desired audience. There are a couple of steps to go through in order to stream from the Anycast Touch, starting with network setup. Connect the LAN1 interface to a network port using an Ethernet cable. Access the Anycast Touch setup by tapping on the toolbox icon on the Subtouch panel. Tap on Network. Select IPv4 and then select DHCP from the drop down menu if you are connecting to a network which automatically assigns IP addresses to connected devices. Press Apply. If the network does not automatically assign an IP address, please consult with your network administrator on selecting a manual IP address. In addition, you should also consult with your network administrator if you are connecting to a managed LAN, like a corporate network, to determine the best method for connecting to the internet or the flash streaming server. The Anycast Touch has been tested with the Ustream.tv streaming service. For more information on Ustream, please check out their website at www.ustream.tv. There, you can create a new free or paid account, which can be used to distribute your streaming output to a web-enabled device such as PCs, tablets, and mobile phones. Once you have created an account, to initiate the stream, you will need to enter the URL, the destination of the stream originating from the Anycast Touch, and the stream key. This information is usually obtained from the My Account page within the Ustream website. To get streaming information from the Ustream website, follow these steps. Log into your Ustream account. Click on the user icon at the top right of the page. Scroll down and select channel settings. Scroll down the page and click on remote under the channel you would like to use for the streaming content. This will change the page to display both the RTMP URL and the stream key for your account. Click on the Download Flash Media Encoder XML and save the file to a USB flash drive. Tap on the Streaming tab on the Anycast subpanel to set up and initiate streaming. Plug in the USB flash drive that contains the XML file you exported from Ustream and tap Import. Then choose the media. Select the appropriate XML file and press OK. A message will appear on the main touch panel indicating the import is complete. Press OK to continue. Select an encode preset from the pull down menu. Select the video and audio sources to be used for the stream. Press the start button in the live streaming area and your stream should be on its way. That's it! With the streaming functionality of the Anycast Touch, you now have the power to reach a wider audience through any web-enabled device. I hope that you found this tutorial on setting up the streaming functionality of the Anycast Touch helpful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.